Hey love, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. I am in the lab, about to get going, but I want to share with you all some lab equipment, a couple tools, and then next time I will do an ingredients haul, which I'm very excited about. So I'm gonna get started. <laughs> One of the most important tools that you can have in your lab is a scale. I don't do any of my measurements in ounces or pounds. I use grams and I measure by weight because that is the most accurate way to measure. So this is my new scale. This is by the brand Bonvoisin. I got it from Amazon and it is 0 0.01 grams up to 5,000 grams. So I chose this particular one as a secondary scale, actually a third scale that I have. I have a super small one, one that I use for smaller batches, and then this one that I'm gonna be using for larger batches. It does come with a calibration weight. You can buy it with or without. I accidentally bought it without, so I had to pick up the calibration weight. Now, calibration weights are so important to have, especially in the weight that your particular scale needs. Every scale has a weight that they need to, I guess, kind of tune it, calibrate it. They do a, such a good job of protecting it, this particular brand, because I've gotten some calibration weights that I'm like, it comes greatly packaged. These need to be well protected because you don't want to alter the amount of weight that this is because you're literally using this as a baseline for your scale. Another lab essential is beakers. And I was trying to make a large batch and I realized I don't have enough beakers. So I got another set. This is borosilicate glass, which is a heat resistant glass made for a lab, right? And so we have a 500 milliliter, a thousand milliliter, 250 milliliter, a 100 milliliter, and this is the difference. 50 milliliter versus the 100. And then we even have a tiny 10 milliliter, which is the difference between the 50. This is so important to have like beakers of all sizes, especially if you're doing smaller batches, you're still learning, you're still experimented, even if you're advanced and you wanna get the right kind of glass. I ended up purchasing watch glasses. Now I believe these are actually made to go on watches, but <laughs> they're really great to cover your beakers, especially if you are using liquids that evaporate. You're heating water in your beaker, it's evaporating, you wanna stop that. So you put a watch glass on top so that you can lessen the amount of water that's evaporated so you don't have to worry about your percentages being as off. You will have to still go in and add a little bit more water, but this will help with that evaporation. It comes in a set of four different sizes, super random, but I got a quarter sheet baking pan that is very sturdy. Um, and I got this because there are times where I have to put things in the freezer very quickly. And if you have like a lot of small things to put in the freezer, like lip balm tubes, then this will be really great, sturdy thing to just like pop in the freezer and then be able to take out all at once very easily. Ooh, this is gonna be helpful. Disinfecting, sanitizing, cleansing, all super important. I'm probably gonna do like a complete basics video for you guys, but I got some bleach tablets. I also got these Ceramine tablets for sanitizing. And you're probably wondering, okay, how do you use these, right? So you just dissolve them in water. For the bleach tablets, I use 32 ounces of water in a spray bottle. And then for this one, I believe I do a gallon. Yeah, I think it's a gallon per tablet. And then I will pour it into a 32 ounce spray bottle so that I can easily work with it around my workspace as well. Kim Tech wipes. These are wipes that you can use to wipe off your beakers, your glassware without leaving any streaks or watermarks, water stains. Um, these are so lightweight, so great to use. Um, again, one day I'll show you guys how I use all of these when I'm sanitizing. If you're into making soaps or working with lye or sodium hydroxide, you need some polypropylene plastic. You can also use stainless steel, I believe, but plastic is what most 
soap makers and whatnot use. So I got this beaker that is 100 milliliters. I like that it has a spout. When you're working with sodium hydroxide or lye solutions, you definitely wanna make sure that you reduce the amount of splatter, splash, all of that. And so I like that this has a spout for you to pour your lye solutions in. You can also use sodium hydroxide for pH balancing as well. Um, there's a lot of different uses for sodium hydroxide, but if you come from a hair channel, you mostly know it for lye and hair relaxers which is something that I don't do. But to use in cosmetics, um, there are a lot of benefits. In order to hold the solutions, I needed to get some HDPE bottles. And these are 90 milliliters. I wanna say they're two ounces or so. I got these because they have a lid and the review said that they were sealed tight and as you can see, they have that little rubber ring. It means that this will actually be sealed and I don't have to worry about leakage, which you don't want your chemicals to be leaking all over the place. They can corrode through things. It can be quite dangerous. And I have a five-year-old, so I'm not trying to you know, do all that. But anyway, I got these. It comes in a pack of six and they are HDPE bottles. The recycle symbol on the bottom is a number two. Safety in a lab is so important and you need the proper gear. One of the pieces of gear that I was missing was a respirator. Comes in a box that looks like this. I'm gonna open it for the first time. Oh, this is like intense. Whoa. So it's actually broken up into a bunch of different pieces. So it comes with goggles. I have figured it out. Okay, so this is the part that goes over your nose. The strap goes over the back. One day I will be wearing this so you'll be able to see how it goes across or over your head. This <laughs> comes all disassembled so you have to assemble it all by yourself and it's gonna look like this. I'm just gonna do it real quick so you guys see. I'm not gonna talk through it because this is my first time doing this. My second time, I guess. So that part goes on like that. Take one of these filter pads that it comes with, put it on and you cover it with this plastic piece. And voila, you're able to put your mask on like that. And then you'll put the goggles on over that. It is like super heavy duty and I'm glad that I just assembled it so that when it's time to use it, I don't have to figure it out. Um, super sturdy, really comfortable feeling, um, but I will give you guys an update when it's time to actually wear this thing. I got a little pack of teeny tiny sample jars. There's 25 clear jars and I plan on using this to test lip balms. And last, but certainly not least, I got some microbial testing kits. So excited about this. I've never been so excited to get my incubator in my life. And this is the final piece. There's 10 in a pack. Oh, this is cool. Obsessed. And then it even comes with some swabs that you can use. These tests are used to test bacteria growth, yeast growth, mold, all the things in your products, especially if you're gonna be giving them away to family and friends or selling products, especially if you're gonna sell products. You wanna make sure that you are testing every batch to make sure that you protect your loved ones and your customers. Comes in a set of 10, and then you use an incubator to keep an optimal temperature, whichever one, whatever temperature that you want to test at, the incubator will keep that constant temperature. And over time, you'll be able to see if there's bacteria growth. And that will tell you essentially if the batch that you made is safe for people to use. So <laughs> I love it. I think this is a caveat to a longer video where I go through like actual lab essentials for beginners. And I'm very excited about that idea. If that's something that you would like, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I may just do it anyway. And I'm gonna sign off and then create the video for the ingredients so it's not too much all at once, all right? I will talk to you later, bye.